Hello and welcome to Friday's episode of City Skylines. We are in need of more people. And we are in need of more commercial and all sorts of stuff. Let's see what we can get up to today. Oh look, we've just started and we're unrecognised. We're going to have to do something about these colleges. They're being very silly. But, first, there's this. <laughs> Let's pause the game, because we seem to have an, an energy crisis on our hands. Uh, oh, gosh, yes. Um, right. We do have the ability to build a nuclear power station. 200 grand. Oh, we've got tons and tons and tons of monies. Where can we put this puppy, though? Uh, oh, he has got a pollution area. Uh, yeah, we don't want him in the college. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, some, uh, you know, some nice education about uh, nuclear and the benefits and stuff thereof. There we go. That should, hopefully, sort out our power issue. Hey, no. No, what do you mean, no? Hey, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh gosh. Right, well, before we deal with uh, this problem down here, I think we need to have a look at our um, uh, universities and stuff and see what the heck's wrong with them. Okay, this one just needs students and academic works. I'm pretty sure we've already given them... Yeah, we've given them stuff to do their academic work, so that's just a matter of time. However, students... Uh, how many students can you hold? According to this, you can hold 500. Hmm. However, according to this, there is nowhere near the capacity required. That just says university. It doesn't say what kind. See, we have the posh university over here, and we have the Merton University across town. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. we did put already some dorms in this one, but this one is capable of holding lots and lots of students. If we come over to Merton College, which is still only a level one, this has its academic works, it just needs students. And we've also put dorms in on this one. I don't understand why it's being such a goit. Um, it's... Has it actually gone up at all? Did it go up at all? I can't remember. Trade school. No. We've got all this stuff in here. I think. What's this? Trade school cafeteria. Yeah, that's over there. Okay, so... What you're saying is we need some more of these. I didn't really want to fill this area up with dormitories, because... I'd rather... Uh, right, that's now in the green, which is good. Um, maybe we'll go and do the same at the other one. So, back at our posh university, we could quite easily... No, we haven't got one of them. Okay, right. Uh, yep, there's room there for another footpath. No, let's put in a footpath first. Here we are. Okay. Right. We now have capacity for the amount of students required for university edumacations. Okie dokie. Okay, so this is an overview of our city as it currently sits. Let's zoom in a little smidge. There we go. Okay, so um, obviously we have a little L. Ooh, that was a bit glitchy. We did have an L. Now we have a 7 for some reason. So if we have this bottom right corner here, and we can probably then satisfy the needs of our residential and commercial needs, and hopefully 
our student influx will go up. So, let's give, get ourselves a that square there. And this square now, obviously, still has the train, so we can add another station in, get people in. Where to connect it, though? This is the question. <laughs> um, we could connect it off of here. And maybe over here. Um, let's put in our internal layout, and then we'll uh, see how it goes from there. Right, let's stop with our nice big road and go from there. And of course, Propentry Anarchy is still is switched itself back on, so we'll switch that back off. Ah, yes, that's in the uh, dirty zone. <laughs> We're not going to add any more IT in because, well, we know what happened with that. ring road. We now have something to link into the outside world. <laughs> um, now the problem is, obviously if we link into uh, this area, uh, get shot of that for a moment. Right, so if we link into this, when all the new people come in through here, which is a bit of a nightmare already, they're gonna cause absolute chaos through here. Um, and if we link it in through here... Oh, blimey, it's a bit chaotic over here as well. That's the highway. I thought we fixed this highway. Obviously not. Okay, let's fix that, because it needs some lane management. I don't know why I hadn't already fixed it. Obviously, being a forgetful Johnny again. There we go. That should hopefully get split that traffic out. Uh, we also want to shut that, open that, do that, control an S, stop them being stupid. Well, we'll do once these guys go past. There we go. Okay, now that's stopped them being stupid. And this one, control and S, there we are. And we'll do it on there as well, control and S. And we're going to stop them switching lanes there and switching lanes there. Because it gets very stupid when they try and do that. There we go, no lane switching there, no lane switching there. So if you haven't found your lane by the time you get to here, Tough doo doo. <laughs> You're getting off. Okay, let's see what we can do down here. This could do with a bit of a downgrade, to be honest. Um, we could knock that down to a two lane thing. Pause it a moment. Why is that trying to go underground? Okay, what are you doing? No, oh, that's being silly. Okay, I'll level that out in a moment. Right, and then hopefully we'll be able to sort these out as well, because these are being stupid as well. Uh, I'll sort that bit of road out. Don't panic, don't panic! Uh, and we don't want you to lane switch in there. There. And that one there is boom, like that. 
We don't want your lines put in there. Or there. Right. So there's out. Why? Ooh, when? How? Why? <laughs> Get the old move it mod out. Still a bridge, but at least now it's flat. <laughs> Okay, uh, we've done all that and all that and all that. Okay, so now hopefully these guys should stop being stupid and keep moving. Why are you all switching lanes there? Are you being stupid about this junction? Nope, we've done the lane mathematics on this one. It's a roundabout, so you should just keep shifting yourself along. This primary junction into the, in and out of the city is, um, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. I don't know what's causing it. Well, I do. It's this. Um, I'm wondering, actually, if we can make things a little easier for these guys by bringing them in and out over here. So that all of the traffic for over here avoids this roundabout. Hmm. I'm wondering. Uh, let's give it a go. Let's uh, <laughs> sort some of this out. It's being a bit of stupid again. That's better. Okay. Ah, look, and now they're coming in this way. That's good. Now, if we can do the same coming out this side, all of most of this traffic will end up coming up here. Hopefully. <laughs> We're waiting for the GPSs to update, <laughs> and then hopefully they'll shoot up there. Hey, there they go. Fantastic. Right, uh, first things last. I want you going to go that way. Okay. Not through the wall, preferably. <laughs> okay, that one only goes that way, that's good. And also, you need to, like, give way. And so do you. I'm debating on whether to stick a set of lights here or not. Also, oh yes, good plan, Stan. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. We're looking for one of them. There you go. Now you've got dedicated doodads. So oh, if you're going to the roundabout. You're in this lane, if you're going up there, you're in that lane. So the highway has its own access. Um, should we do a bit of lane maps up here? I think we should, you know. Yeah. Otherwise they're all going to start just crashing into each other and being stupid. Okay, we do that. Bit of that, and a control on S. There we are. And, uh, yeah, we're not having you doing the stupidness there either. Um, or there. That's it. You've got a couple of nodes there to mess about with, so you can switch lanes. Um, also, ooh. we're gonna do the same over here with the highway thing. Yeah, and then you've got a dedicated doodad. Alright. Alright. That's it. Okay, hopefully that will help clear that out. Now it's just, well, this bit. Because they're being very, 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 very stupid over here. They have got to go two nodes before they can switch lanes, but... They all seem to be queuing up. To get off here. <laughs> yes, I can see that there's a robber in the playground in the car park. Stealing car stereos, no doubt. Oh, they're getting on over there to get off over here. That just seems a little odd. But okay. Can we do something about that? Oh, they're coming over here for the college not the college, the shopping area. Um, can we give them another way into there? No 
no clue where any of this stuff's coming from. But this area is now working a lot better. We might have to sit us. Mind you, it's cleared up now, very nearly. I think we're going to have to stick some lights in there. Uh, traffic lights, there we go. Yep, we hold the control key and go boom. It will set them up automatically so that they're not being stupid. <laughs> Because being stupid is what they do in this game. There we go, that's better. Right, so now we haven't made a blind bit of difference to that area at all. <laughs> we can put some adjoining roads or joining roads on for this. But where is the question? We could actually... Ooh, that would be a good... That would get rid of some of the traffic. If we come off of here, into here, and come off of here, into here, not into the college turning, into here, and then off of here, across the river, into here, if it will join up. I'm sure it will. Um, let's give it a go. Not with a highway bridge. That would be silly. <laughs> uh, what we've got here? Three lanes in each direction. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's do that. And uh, that. And come off of there. I'm hoping that it hasn't affected the uh, pedestrian walkway at all. Which it has, of course it did. Okay, bust out the move it mod and go above ground. And we're going to raise this bit up just a enough. There we go, for the pedestrians to get underneath. There we go, and that also kind of leveled the bridge out, which is good. Okay. So now we want to connect that to this. Uh, where are boots? Do we want to connect it? How do we want to connect it? I think what we're going to do is we're going to come off of here. Like that. Uh, hmm. <laughs> this is where the fun begins because we need to get it. I delete the rock. We're going to anarchy it across the railway. We'll deal with that in a second. And that's suck again. Oh, because it's in bridge mode. Don't! Oh! Let's try that again. Oh, it's not having any of that, is it? Okay. Try that again. That's better. Okay, now we're going to try and use our joiny whiny thing, which is in here. I think that's the puppy connection tool. There we go. I'm going to go from there to there. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yep, that's good. Now for the railway. So, we get the move it mod out. And we select that one, that one, and that one. Lower them down so that it runs under the road. Let's have a look at it. Hold on that. Just in time. Stop there. <laughs> we can actually bring that up a smidge, can't we? A bit of a glitch under there, but other than that, it's fine. Yeah, that's high enough. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not too steep or anything, so, but just to make sure, we can get our multi tool thing out again and go. Yeah, go from there to there, okay? And give it a gradual drop. 
Um, and there to there. And gradual drop. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, train, you can carry on. <laughs> so our road is now coming in here. Just got to hope that the when we connect it up over the other side, it doesn't start everybody using it as the through fare to get over there. Okay, so we want to connect it over here now. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. um de de decisions, decisions, over or under. <laughs> Um, I think we're going to do the same as we did over there. We'll pause the game a second. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, let's turn all those back on. I know the path right there. Anarchy the puppy in. There we go. Bust out the move it mod. Yeah, there seems to be a heck of a glitch going on in the graphics. I don't know what's causing that. I will attempt to fix it, but not right now, because I'm playing. <laughs> okay, so uh, again, we're going to use our slope creation tool. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, trains can now continue to do their doodly doodlies. As, uh, oh, I think I know what that glitch is. Hang on. Hang on. Let's do that. Space really occupied. Let's. No, it's not having that, is it? Let's put that back in. No, nope, that won't. No, no, no. <laughs> Being a kid. There you go. Now it looks a little bit better. Okay. Uh, all our people just ran to the nearest bus stop. <laughs> and why not? And there's a fire going on as well. Why not? Okay, and on that, that end as well, we want to give away. Fantastic. That looks good. The trains are still toing and throwing quite easily. Yeah. The bridge is not getting in their way at all. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now this one. Uh, what's your problem? No more room. Oh, you're full up. Alright, let's get you emptied out and then we can delete you. I'm sure we said that before. <laughs> right, so... Um, how are we going to get from there to here? Where would be the best place? I think this, because it's the quietest part. Let's do that. There we go. Okay. Our doodads in. We are. Oh, I, I, I see something else we've got. Dedicated. Dedicated turning, dedicated turnings. Dedicated turnings. Dedicated turnings. Now we can't have dedicated. Well, this one can. That one can't. <laughs> But, people are already coming through here, although it's like, you know, thing. And they're spreading the traffic out, which is even better. Shall we fill this puppy in at long last? <laughs> we've, been, we've spent almost an entire episode kind of building this and moving around doing other stuff. So let's build this puppy so we can uh, hopefully fill this need.
Okay, so we're going to enable the theme manager in here. Ah, uh, what should we do? <laughs> uh, leave that one on, leave that one on, take that one off. That one, that one, that one leave that one on. No. No, 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 no. Turn it off. Right, so in here we're going to have high-rise flats, low flats, and UK shops, because I might dot some more shops around inside here. Although, as you probably worked out, this bit down here is going to be shops. <laughs> but they're going to be like organic and local produce. You know, really expensive shops. Now let's plot the shops in. And let's put some shops in over here. We're going to put them by these uh, utility buildings. Not utility, you know, the schools and such. And the park. There we go. Yeah, that's a good place. Okay, let's put some footpaths in to encourage our wonderful pupils to walk. <laughs> Ready to zone this puppy. As you've seen, we've already put shops in. And I've oh no, I just spotted something. Did you spot it? I'm sure you did. You've all got eagle eyes. In fact, I spotted two somethings. Firstly, this park here only has one entrance. We can't be having that. So we're gonna come out of the back here and down to the shopping area. And we'll come off of the side there, over to there. And this park only has the main road entrance, so we're going to connect him up. Thusly. And now everybody's connected. Okay, so now we are ready to green zone this puppy. There we are. Okay, now some high density stuffs. And it's all zoned and ready to rock. Shall we see what grows in? I highly doubt anything will, to be honest. I don't think they're ready to move into our brand new area, but we shall see.
Yes, during the cinematic screen, I did spot this. Where all the roads have sunk, for whatever reason. Those must have been set at a different level or something silly. I will fix those off camera using the move it mod and the level with terrain area uh, button. Hey, and thank you for watching this episode of City Skylines. For another video, click over here. And to join the channel or just subscribe, click over here. And don't forget to hit the like button, please. See you next time.